In this tutorial, we'll go through important variables that need to be defined and declared appropriately, depending on the type of fixed connection that you're establishing to the Darwin X fixed servers. These variables are important in order to define exactly how your quick fix application will function and are a mandatory prerequisite before you go about uh, developing the application using the quick fix library. These variables are of two types, default and session. The list of variables available in default that we will be using, the list is quite exhaustive. The variables that we're interested in are the connection type, start day, end day, start time and end time. Values for start day, end day, start time and end time will be provided to you by the operations team at DarwinX, including values for some of these other uh, variables. And the other variables we'll need to define based on the application that we're developing. Heartbeat interval, reset on logon, reset sequence num flag, encryption method, encrypt method, check latency, order timeout, file store path, file log path. These are quick fix specific variables that will allow us to store certain uh, information in certain folders depending on um, the function at hand. For example, if you're logging certain activity, then that'll go via the file log path. And if you're storing some other configuration parameters, those will go via file store path. Um, session files are also stored via the file store path. So we'll get to this in implementation. This will all become a lot more clear once we start developing the application in future tutorials. Then there's validate fields have values. Use data dictionary. This is important to note as the fix protocol comes with a fixed dictionary that we'll quickly go and find now. Version 4.4 is what we're using. And uh, let's find the dictionary. Fields by tag. So here's an example of uh, what you'll find in a dictionary. If you go to this uh, link, onxs.biz, you'll find a fixed dictionary by protocol version number. And it is a variation of this fixed dictionary that will be provided to you by the DarwinX operations team that will include all acceptable fields that you can use inside your quick fix based application. So to give you an idea of what the dictionary is, all of the fields that are here are compose all the fields that are available in the fix 4.4 protocol. However, the field definitions that will be given to you in the dictionary provided by the Darwin X operations team will include the fields that are acceptable to the Darwin X fix implementation. So we'll cover this in a future tutorial where we'll actually go ahead and use the dictionary that you'll be using as an algorithmic trader employing the fix protocol at Darwin X. Next, the data dictionary and use data dictionary are um, referencing the same thing. In data dictionary, we actually reference the path and use data dictionary as a Boolean variable that will allow us to set whether we'll use the dictionary or not. The next category of variables that need definition and declaration are session, bucketed into the session category. And these include firstly the begin string. If you've watched our previous tutorials, you'll know that the structure of a fixed message always begins with a begin string and uh, other components that need to be referenced in order. That definition is provided here inside the session variable and you need to define it prior to loading the application. Socket connect host. This is the address of the server that you'll be connecting to. Socket connect port. This is the port number that you'll be assigned uh, when you've got yourself a fixed connector at Taronex. And this is port, the port that you'll be uh, entering for this value over here. The port may differ depending on the type of connection that you're um, starting, be it pricing or trading. Generally, you'll find that the port numbers for establishing a pricing or a trading connection always differ, but this will be made clear to you in the documentation that you provided by the DarwinX operations team. Each fixed connection um, has a sender comp ID and a target comp ID. The sender comp ID is the one that is registered at the fixed server and identifies you. The target comp ID is that of the fixed server, so you can set up your fixed messaging so that the fixed server can validate the sender attempting to establish a connection to the target and persist messages. These are primarily all the variables that we'll need to define in our QuakeFix implementation. There are, as you saw earlier, a ton more variables, 956 of them to be exact, um, some of which will be required as we go along in this tutorial series, but most of which we won't be using as the implementation that we've been making will be functional in the sense that will allow you to Go ahead and use the pricing connection to establish a price feed and use the trading connection to establish command exchange between yourself and the fixed server, between your application and the fixed server. 
So that's it for variable definitions and declarations. In the next tutorial, we'll go about actually structuring the application so that we can configure our sessions. As always, if you enjoyed this presentation, please do consider sharing it with your social networks, colleagues, co-workers and friends. And do subscribe to the DarwinX YouTube channel so you remain up to date with all future videos that will be released in this series and other topics discussed on DarwinX. Thank you very much for your attention. See you next time.